Hello, and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make the most of LearnDash's Certificate Builder to create professional and personal certificates that your students will be proud to receive, as well as touch on an add-on that will allow them to share their certificates within your course. We'll begin in the WordPress dashboard area. Depending on the version of LearnDash that you're working with, you may or may not have to install an update. To find out whether this applies to you, we're going to head to the toolbar on the left side, over to Learn-LMS, and come halfway down to click on Certificates. Once the page loads, we're going to head over to the opposite corner, over here in the top right, to this nice blue button, Add New, and give it a click. Now we have a draft of our certificate open. If you see under the title, a button called Use Certificate Builder, that means everything is A-OK. -okay. If you don't see that button, then you're going to need to update your LearnDash plugin. You can do this by heading back over into the toolbar on the left, down to WP Forms, and clicking on the orange Add-ons header here. First things first, we're going to have to give our certificate a name. I'm going to call mine Certificate of Graduation. Great. Now I'm going to publish the certificate. And then we're going to come right back over to this Certificate Builder button and give it a click. Once the page loads, you'll see that we are now inside of the Gutenberg block editor. But the first thing that we're going to do, as you can see by the prompt in the center of the screen, is upload our certificate background. This is where we need to take a moment to think about design. If you're already a whiz with graphic design, or you generally prefer to hire somebody to take care of that work for you, you can, of course, make a template from scratch. Um, a more cost-effective and efficient way of approaching things is to make use of the wide and rich variety of graphic design websites that already exist on the internet, which is what I will be doing today. This avenue will either allow you to download a background that you need directly, or edit an available selection of certificate templates, in our case, to create something that you can adapt for your own unique purposes for your own unique course. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to make use of a wonderful resource, uh, canva.com. It has a hugely accessible and honestly massive selection of available like template options for any sort of content or media that you could possibly imagine, both free and paid. Uh, you can also find a link to the site in the description below the video. So I'm looking for a certificate, and as you can see, we have a wealth of options, to put it lightly, but I'm going to try to stick with something simplistic here. This looks more or less like what we're going to want here. Um, you do have the ability to customize it, as you can see. As I mentioned previously, one of the reasons that resources like Canva are so great is because they supply you with a background that you can customize. For example, uh, it makes no sense to have these fake names here. So in Canva's case, all you have to do is click and delete. Okay, I have tidied up this certificate a little bit into something that's more general for our purposes because again, I want to implement a lot of the customization back in WordPress. So what I'm going to do now is take the image that you see on the screen here, download this bad boy into a JPEG, and we're gonna move right back over into WordPress to keep customizing. All right, we're back on WordPress, and I will say right away that in that previous clip, I accidentally chose a paid template of WordPress, so the one I'm about to upload will be the same thing. It'll be a certificate, it'll be a JPEG, everything will be beautiful, trust me, but it won't look exactly the same as the one in the previous clip. I apologize for that inconsistency. Once your image loads, now we can take a look at this certificate as a whole and start breaking things down by blocks. If we move to the right side of the screen, we can see settings for both the certificate on the whole and the specific block that we're working in. Since we don't really have any blocks on the page just yet, let's run through the certificate settings really quick. You can see we have the ability to customize the sidebar. However we want to our content to look, we can you know stretch to width, we can put it in the box, content box, and so on. And I would invite you to absolutely play around with these settings and make sure 
that you're working in exactly the layout that you need. You have the ability to enable or disable a wide variety of things here, as well as create a transparent header if you would like. With our background set, the next thing that we're going to do is start adding blocks that will have our graduates' names as well as the courses they've completed. Uh, it might be a little sneaky here on the screen, but this white plus on a black background is how we're going to add our first block. So let's go ahead and give this a click. As you can see, you have a limited view of types of blocks that we can throw onto this certificate here, but for the sake of exposition, we're going to click on Browse All so that we can see absolutely everything that we have the ability to work with. Uh, we have the ability to insert widgets starting at the bottom using short code, if that's more comfortable for you. You also have the ability to split a block into columns as well as insert separators and spacers in order to optimize your design. If you want to insert an image, you have the ability to do that as well, perhaps a logo or something, you know, maybe a little less generic than this empty button, this empty ribbon here. Uh, in terms of text, you can choose from quotes, lists, headings, paragraph text, whatever you generally need. But here's the real zinger. We've moved to the Learn Dash Learning Management System blocks, where we have the ability to insert course info, group info, as well as user data. This is really what we're going to focus on here. However, as you can see, our block is at the very, very top of our image right now, and we need to bump down a little bit to get to the center, well, I guess the top third, not necessarily the center. So I'm going to insert a spacer here in order to customize its height until we can put our next block right down about here. That looks good to me. Now all we have to do is click on add block again, and we're going to do user meta. Perfect. As with all text fields, you can see we have an array, array of options here in terms of uppercase, lowercase. If you want to put something in bold, italics, or align it in a certain way, you can certainly do that. I'm going to want our metadata and our beautiful placeholder output to be smack dab in the middle here. So I also want to put the course name in, which is going to require another spacer here so that we don't cover our own text. So let's throw in a spacer. That actually looks to be pretty much the right size. And course info, which I'm also going to center justify. Those of you that are perhaps wondering what on earth did I just stick onto this certificate, we this would actually be a great time to talk about block settings. In each case here, in the top and the bottom, I have inserted the metadata for the users in a certain course and the course itself, respectively. Why is this useful and how can we manipulate it? Beyond the general text-based manipulation you can do on the certificate itself, I would like to remind you that we do have block settings on the right side of the screen. Here with our user metadata block, <clears throat> we have the option of putting in a specific user ID if you're trying to you know, award a certificate to a specific single person. I'm going to keep this field blank for now, which means it's just going to use my credentials. And instead of putting in a user login, I'm going to choose user first and last name. And as you can see, the field will automatically populate with the first and last name that I have registered to WordPress. Um, you have the ability to preview any of these things as well as play with the font size, play with the um, the color of the text as well as background color so you can make this as you know, absurd as you would like as well as use a custom font if you so desire one important thing to keep in mind though is when you're sizing everything do uh, bear in mind that some of your students will have extremely short names or you know perhaps a three-letter name and some of them will have extremely long names the course info meta block is much of the same. Uh, I'm not ch choosing to make a certificate for a specific course here, so I'm going to keep this blank for now. Now that you've got the basics down, I will tidy up my draft of this certificate and invite you to do the same before continuing. Don't forget to frequently update your drafts while you're working, and always preview your certificate before finishing up to be 100% sure that everything is where it should be. So now that you've created a professional and visually appealing certificate that your students can really feel proud to have, WooNinjas has created some excellent Learn-Specific add-ons that can add even more value to your certificates. 
why not make it easy for your students to share their achievements on social media, given that we are in the age of social media? This is where the Learn Dash Certificate Verify and Share add-on comes into play. To get a better idea of what exactly the Verify and Share add-on can do for your course, let's head back into the Learn Dash LMS header and head down to Certificate Verify and Share Settings. As you can see, the settings page is quite straightforward. The first tab here is for regulating your license settings, but it's the next two that are really exciting. The social sharing settings tab will allow your students to take their lovely certificates and share them to LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter with the click of a button. This is both great for student morale and provides organic marketing for your course. Please also note that in order for your certificates issuing organization, that is you, to be added correctly to LinkedIn, you will have to expand the LinkedIn settings box and add your company ID down here. You can find a brief and helpful article to guide you through this simple process immediately below the company ID field. Let's see what all this looks like from your student's point of view. On your student's account page, they can see an overview of the courses that they have either enrolled in or completed. As you can see here, I have completed a course and been issued a certificate. Our Verify and Share add-on adds this unintrusive but highly useful little box down here, so let's walk through what each button does. The Add to LinkedIn profile button does exactly what you think it should, and it will redirect you straight to LinkedIn, if I can manage to click on it. On top of that, it will auto-populate all of the necessary fields and add the certificate to your LinkedIn profile under the Licenses and Certification section. Back on the account page, you can also just mouse over the Share button here to post the certificate in PDF form to your LinkedIn, your Twitter, or Facebook feeds. You also have the option of downloading your certificate for your own records, which I would highly recommend. The Certificate Verify and Share add-on also has one more very important functionality, and that is the verification page. What is a verification page for, you may ask? LearnDash allows your students to download a PDF copy of their certificate by default, and while this is a nice sentiment, it's rather limited in scope. Let's head back to our course. Clicking on the Certificate Verification tab at the top will allow us to view the verification pages that we have set up for our students. I am going to take a gander at Mr. Blog's achievements, more specifically his course certificate for the self-tape course. There we go. Do bear in mind though that I could also check any of his quiz certificates, group certificates, and this entire search function here can be made just for you, the user, the course head, or you can make it public. It's entirely up to you. All right, now we're cooking with gas. We have a nicely laid out page here with all sorts of relevant information. We have the recipient of the certificate, the instructor for the course, the issue date, the certificate's name, uh, general information about the course as a whole, and the, well, we have a little button here in the corner that we can use to download the certificate separately if we so choose. You may be asking who all this is for, and the answer is that it's really for everyone. Students get a custom URL that can be tucked onto a resume to serve as aesthetically pleasing proof of all of their hard work. Potential employers can jump online and verify that your students are indeed as qualified as they say they are by checking out the certificates, and all of this translates to more visibility for your course, which ultimately means more sales. Everything in the Learn Dash Certificate Verify and Share add-on is totally optional, and you can customize it as much or as little as you'd like but it does provide an extra layer of prestige that you see with other large educational platforms such as Coursera or Udemy. And online learners love being able to share their accomplishments in both personal and professional environments. And that's how easy it is to make visually stunning certificates in the Learn Dash Certificate Builder. That's gonna be all for me for today. If you felt that this video was helpful in any way, then please feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. If you felt that it wasn't helpful, let us know why in the comments. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.